it just boggles the mind when people say there's not a problem or we can just tweak the current system. It just won't work like that. What marks out a civilised country? A, and more than that, a prosperous and stable country which people want to migrate to, which businesses want to set up offices in and do business with, is a highly educated general population. And Australia, crazily, has been walking away from doing that over the last couple of decades. And Gonski, at least, is a step, the first step, towards turning that really disastrous and destructive direction in education. There are three reasons that I believe Gonski is the best option we've got. The first is the money actually follows real evidence-based disadvantage. Things that we know affect a child's ability to absorb what they're offered at school. The second reason is because for the first time ever we will have a federal funding scheme that treats all Australia's children as if they live in the same country. The third reason is that if you go to the Gonski Review and actually read the report, anyone can understand. It's, it's, it's very clear, it's very rational and what they're doing is fairly simple to follow. Now if Gonski money will do that for schools, and we think it will, um, then that's, a, that's an enormous breakthrough for schools but not only struggling schools, but also the schools in the middle. Gonski is sector blind. Private schools will continue to receive public funding and those fee charging schools that do a large amount of heavy lifting in terms of enrolling kids with disadvantage will receive the same loadings as the public schools. Having money available, especially if it comes with uh, um, a little bit more freedom to address priorities in curriculum and uh, the way we assess students, the way we report to parents and the way we configure learning. If the money is there to do that, then that's very powerful. Governments have been putting money in for three years or so and a program in a school has just got up and running and they've actually encouraged a whole lot of kids to think that they've got some hope and to really be doing well and then the government changes and they rip the money away from them and those kids smash back down. What we're trying to do is create a highly educated general population so that then we can compete with the rest of the world and we can also make sure that we're educating all our talent. Get Up members are famous for campaigning for the general good, not according to a political ideology or a particular party platform and that's what's great about Gonski. If public education is the promise one generation makes to the next, Let's not be the first generation to break that promise.